I'm Alice W. Beecham, a life coach. And I know you think you don't know me, but I'm going to ask you, allow me to ask you three questions that could change your life. One, have you ever wanted something so badly and it was within your reach, yet you didn't take the steps to get it. Two, are there times now, or have there been times in your past when you wanted to say no to someone, yet you said yes just to be agreeable? And lastly, number three, are you allowing all the noise on the outside to get into your head and tell you that it's too late to have the life that you want? I ask you these questions because not too long ago, I could answer yes to all of them. And if you can answer yes to one or all of them, you do know me because I was you before I learned to slay my basement. What most people don't know about me is how I got in my basement and most importantly, how I learned to slay my basement and get out of it. When I talk about basement, I'm not talking about a physical place that we can walk into or walk out of by choice. I'm talking about an emotional fear that keep us stuck in a comfortable, mediocre place. My fall into my basement happened one night as I proudly stepped forward on a stage to say my part in a school play. I said my part and the whole auditorium burst into life. I was six years old and I had a very bad, severe speech impediment. I remember standing there and thinking, I will not cry. It seems like an eternity before I finally walked back to my place, still thinking, I will not cry. I later realized that two things happened that night. I made two decisions. One was that I would never be accepted because of my voice. And the other was I would not allow the world to hurt me like that again. Have you ever been imprisoned in fear within yourself? As a result of those two decisions I made, I became a prisoner within myself. I was surrounded by the fear of what the outside world thought of me, their opinion. There was always that feeling inside of me though, that I was created for something more. And it told me, don't give up. If you keep going, I will help you. I believe that gut feeling. 
I was filled with so many words and ideas that I wanted to share. But before I could speak, I would always hear the laughter from that night, and my voice would be silenced. I had three things going for me. I was clever, I was stubborn, and I was hungry to be heard. So instead of write, instead of speaking, I started writing. And instead of going after what I wanted in life, I became the biggest supporter of helping other people achieve their goals. When people told me how talented I was, I didn't believe them. I couldn't trust their words. Eventually, that voice, that gut feeling on the inside, got so loud that I could no longer deny it. Over the years, the deep fear of not speaking cost me promotions. It cost me relationships. It even made me doubt my faith in God. I knew something had to give. It just had to change. I was a grown woman that was struggling and had become a master at dimming my own light to protect myself. I struggled with this a six-year-old girl's fear. in a false comfort zone she had made in the basement. Eventually, the voice in my gut became so strong that even my clever schemes couldn't silence it. The stress from the years of hiding was taking a physical and emotional toll on my mind and body. I was a 42 year old woman. I was divorced. My finances were messed up. I was physically sick and I was emotionally broken. I knew no night on a white horse was going to come and save me. I had to be my own knight, as well as the horse, to take me out of my basement. I knew I was created for something greater than the base, a basement dwelling. I remember all the times and all the problems I had solved for other people. So. I put on my armor and I created my path. I joined Toastmasters, an international speaking club where I could go and speak in a safe place. I remember going and after the first meeting, it took me six months to return, but I returned. I told my story and the members embraced me and gave me courage to continue creating my path. After a year in Toastmasters, I decided I wanted to give back. So I volunteered at the crisis hotline. One day, I got a suicide call. I talked a woman into giving her life another chance. And before she hung up, she said, you were supposed to be here today. You saved my life. 
that day, I knew my life had a purpose. When the director of the hotline heard about what had happened, she encouraged me to enroll in the coaching program. I enrolled, and one year later, I became certified as a life coach. I started volunteering just to get more experience. I created a budget. I created a bu my bu my finance. I created a budget for my finance and started from zero and purchased my own house within two years after being divorced. No co-signer. I allowed my job to become my financer to reboot and rebuild my life and allow me to retire and take ownership of my life schedule at the age of 58. It's never too late. I share my story because I is not because I escaped from the basement, but because I learned to transform my basement and to into a foundation and create the life I wanted. You might ask, what about the fear? I know I'm no longer surrounded by my fear. I now stand on top of it as the foundation to the life that I want. I share my story because no matter what the circumstances are that create our basement, I know if we stop feeding the fear we will slay the basement. I share my story because I know how it feels to think that you are at the end and you have to start all over again. And because I promise God that if, that when I got out of my basement, I would create a path to help someone shorten their trip as they travel from their basement. I share my story because one day a woman on a hotline called me for help. And before she hung up, she said, you were supposed to be there. You saved my life. I share it because the truth is, we saved each other's life. So, again I ask, are you tired of being afraid to reach out for what you want? Are you tired of agreeing to be agreeable? And are you ready to silence the naysayers that tell you you can't have what you want in life or that it is too late? If you are ready to slay your basement, I can help you.